Hello YouTube, I'm David with the David West channel. Now that the hard part is over with, we can just go ahead and enjoy our two new sets. This came from the rotted leg that I replaced on the fire table, which was a two by six. And we built this one in the garage. And the spindle that goes with it has developed a peg right there. Which fits right up in here. So there is still plenty of bottom in this one. We'll make another ember. Don't know what kind of wood this 2x6 was made out of. When you look at those tags on the stapled on the end of lumber, it always says one of 10 different species of white wood from around the world. And then our other bow drill set that we made yesterday from the wet tulip poplar. And something I just noticed is that that notch is still clogged up with a little bit of that dust. And I had to shave down on this end to make a smaller diameter so that it would fit the board better. Sorry about the shadows. And there's plenty of bottom left in that. Let's get set up on the ground and start enjoying these two sets. All right. Let's do the tulip poplar set first. Low, slow, and long. Low downward pressure. Slow bowing and bowing for a long time is what works with the tricky tulip poplar. Once again, that is terrible dust. It is not supposed to be chunky and grainy like that. So let's hurry and get it in the tender bundle before it burns itself out.
Good. And this is what we ended up with. Still have some a clog notch, pointy spindle. But this was wet just yesterday. And it's probably still got moisture in it. So I can't complain about the way it performed. And I'm expecting better results out of this two by six. I do not want this, this fireboard leaning forward like that. Let's try to find a spot to where it lean back the other way. That's better. Let's try that. Got that peg on the end. Keep it right in that notch, just in one position. Like Pinocchio's nose, it grew. Now this one does need to coalesce for at least a minute. Notice how that dust is not grainy nor chunky. It's a nice fine powder. Once again, that is from the two by six that was rotted that I replaced on the fire table. Most of the time you'll wanna let your embers coalesce from one to two minutes. It'll come together, get tighter, and it'll be very much hotter. When you put it into the tinder bundle, it won't just fall into a thousand pieces. All right, y'all, do me a favor. Before you leave my channel, please subscribe, hit the notification bell, and in that drop-down list, select all, and do give the video a like. I appreciate you joining me on this one. We'll catch you on the next one.